Hello everybody. Hope everyone is having a wonderful week. Um, I want to thank Barbara Anderson for sending me the link to this. Uh, this is good information. This is a good thing. And I know some of our viewers don't really like the Biden, President Biden administration. I understand that. I understand that. And he made a lot of mistakes. But if he does this one good thing, it's it's a good thing. It'll be worth it. And I will post the link down below it's to the Hill. Bill eliminating statute of limitations for CSA civil suits heads to Biden's desk. And he better sign it or I'm going to be upset. The House on Tuesday passed a bill eliminating the statute of limitations for victims of CSA who seek to file civil claims, sending the measure to President Biden's desk for final approval. The chamber cleared the bill titled the Eliminating, Eliminating Limits to Justice for CSA Victims Act by voice, voice Vote, a strategy reserved for non-controversial popular measures. The Senate passed the legislation by unanimous consent in March. And then the House just approved it also. And I'm going to scroll down here to the third to the last um, paragraph and read this. Um, I believe this was Representative Nat Nadler uh, who was making a quote of why it was important to pass this. And yeah, it was. They should have done this years ago. Really? The New York Democrat argued that statute of limitations in place for civil claims of CSA can serve to protect abusers and enable them to continue to exploit their power by allowing victims' claims to expire. Yes, and now they need to go after these organizations and religions, especially Watchtower, for allowing this and hiding it. I don't care what Let says, they are hiding it. Oh, I just get so angry. All right, now I want to thank Wendy for posting this on Twitter. I just seen this this morning. And um, it looks like it might possibly be from another forum because they always have the vote up and down, you know, likes and dislikes and stuff like that. And I'm going to read what the post, the actual post says. I did it. I sent ARC to 400 people in my circuit district nation. I used to be a top coordinator in my area many years ago, so I had on file 400 plus brothers' phone numbers in the whole region. I sent all of them Jeffrey Jackson's testimony parts, parts one and two, to everybody. I also was an attendant many years ago, so I had access to all the convention documents with everybody's contact information. I love these guys. I sent it on Monday and over the weekend. Every elder in MS in the area is aware of the ARC now, hopefully. I was so outraged at seeing the September Stephen Lett broadcast. I had to do something. I hope it helps wake someone up or it just bring awareness. Me too. Me too. Positive energy, dude. If anyone else does what I did in the future, I recommend using an anonymous number and blocking each person afterward. I did so because I did not want to deal with drama or name calling or trauma afterward. I had many people trying to call the number back to catch me. So obviously this is an elder or ex-elder, either one, and this is great. So thank you, Wendy, for posting that, or I should say retweeting it. Appreciate it. And um, it's amazing. It's amazing the wake up, you know, that is going on worldwide. And let's hope this trend continues. And not just in the XJW community, but everywhere. Everywhere in the world, um, people are waking up to a lot, like Mike would say, this BS. So, love and light, and you all have a wonderful day. Bye.